Hey guys, The Rick here, bringing you another video. It's another freshwater fish profile, and today's profile is on my Geophagus redheads. Beautiful fish. Now, before we talk about this fish, let's take a little time to look at them. So, here's my beautiful Geophagus redhead, Tapoyos. I believe I'm pronouncing that last part correctly. This one right here is my beautiful male absolutely gorgeous you can get where the they get their name redhead look at that beautiful hump on his head amazing colors this here is the female slight you can see the slight difference they've been a little aggressive towards each other I think they're gonna spawn again usually they they fight a little bit and then few days later I have a clutch of eggs I guess it's the way of the male telling the female he is ready or something like that it's the female here beautiful beautiful uh, the main difference I can tell them apart is uh, their top dorsal fin the female just uh, her, her end comes down while the male his dorsal fin ends at a point you can see there This male is just absolutely gorgeous. Nice little large hump on his head. Just beautiful. Little aggressive today. I think today might be the day. They've been cleaning this driftwood again, so excited for it. And it's feeding time, so a little aggressive today. But yeah, these guys are the star of my 55 gallon tank. Now I recommend you get at least a minimum of a 55 gallon tank if you want a nice pair of these guys. And if you want a nice group, I recommend getting about a 125 gallon for a nice group of maybe about 6 or 7. They'll pretty much take flakes and pellets and also frozen foods as well. Now my geos have spawned about three times already with one being a success. They lay about two to three hundred eggs at a time on a piece of driftwood. From what I've seen so far, the male and the female are pretty good parents. Hopefully the next batch uh, will be a success. I would say the geophagus redheads are a pretty easy fish to keep. I wouldn't say they're a beginner fish, but if you do have some knowledge, you will find that these guys are very easy to care for. Alright guys, that's been another freshwater fish profile. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.